Uh, I hear sometimes you hear this on social media, you hear this in conversations and in staff rooms, like, well, you know, like that person probably that admin is probably not a good teacher. And I'm like, I don't think every, I don't think every admin had to be a good teacher. I think some administrators are actually better in that role than they were teachers. I don't think that everyone was this incredible, amazing teacher. Now, like, do you have to understand education? Yeah. Totally. But there it's, there's different skill sets there too. Right. And, and I know you're a big sports guy. Like I always, some of the, some of the best coaches were terrible players and some of the worst coaches were amazing players. Like Michael Jordan, I, th- I mean, or like magic Johnson, right. Terrible coach, favorite player of all time, but terrible coach. Uh, Michael Jordan hasn't been the greatest GM, right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, Larry bird is one of the exceptions for basketball, right? Like he was a very good coach, uh, very good player. And so it's interesting to kind of like uh, see that uh, Doc Rivers was a very good player, very good coach. So you you kind of see um, that it's not like, I'm not saying if you're a great teacher, you can't be a great leader. Um, but being a great teacher doesn't mean you're a great leader. And like, I don't know what you think about that. Because I've been thinking about that a lot lately. Like, I think that people maybe in administrative roles see things maybe a different way can help people a different way, but th- not necessarily the best teachers. I don't know what you think about that. I, you know, I, th- I haven't really thought about that, but I, I would have to agree with a lot of what you're saying. Mm-hmm. What it reminds me of is this is when we interview all kinds of teacher, you know, all kinds of teachers, I'm not in those interviews anymore, but I used to be in a lot of those interviews. Sometimes your best teachers were the kids who were below average students, right? right? Or they got in trouble, right? Some kids who got in trouble in high school and they finally figured it out because they might, they might've been really good leaders, but they weren't, like I mentioned, you weren't doing the right things. Maybe you were involved in the wrong crowd, but you had these leadership abilities, right? Mm-hmm. So when we hired teachers, it wasn't like we were looking for the, the, the 4.0 high school students or the 4.0 college students. We we're looking for the, some of those kids who maybe struggled and then a light s- switch flipped right. on. And then suddenly, because they understand what it's like, not only to be, you know, work with the high level kids, but also to work with the kids who are struggling, who are disengaged, Mm -hmm. who don't want to be at school. So I think there's a lot of parallels there with a teacher who struggled and understands the struggle of a, uh, of a struggling teacher. So they, so they know how to work with those teachers who are underperforming. Um, So I think there's a lot of, I think there's a lot of truth to that statement. 